Welcome to Linux in a Shell, Episode 8. Today I'm going to be talking about the free command, which will display the amount of free and used memory in your system. My name is Dan Washko, and remember that this is a companion video to the website. This only shows examples of using the command. Uh, for the full write-up, go to the website. Also, for the audio portion of this, of the full write-up, go to the website. Hosted by Hacker Public Radio. Excellent. So let's get going here. The free command. If I type in the free command without any options, it's going to show me very simple total memory I have in the system. Total free or total used, total free, buffers cached, buffer cache line, and swap memory in here. Now this is showing in kilobytes, I believe. Uh, so more than likely you'll want a easier read, which is dash H or human readable format. What that gives you is uh, a rounding of the values to the nearest uh, logical representation of gigabytes, megabytes, kilobytes, whatever, the, loaded, the greatest three-digit representation that it can uh, display. So in here, instead of showing me t uh, that in kilobytes, I get 1.9 gigabytes, 688 megabytes, instead of showing me in, in kilobytes there. Uh, but you can look at the individual values with the different switches. For instance, B is uh, bytes, K is kilobytes, M is for megabytes, free is for gigabytes, and there's also tera, which will show in terabytes. Now notice, as I'm doing this, aside from the human readable format, it, it, if your, if any of these values do not uh, equal a one, at least one unit of that value, it will show a zero. So you notice in here that when I hit megabytes is about the highest that I can go here until I do gigabytes. So I have one approximately 1.9 gigabytes of RAM but because I specified in pure gigabytes only it only shows me that I have one gigabyte of RAM it shows me zero used and free one gigabyte. Now that's not an accurate representation that's so be aware of that but that's the, kind of the cutoff there so so pay attention to that um, when when looking and reading free remember what you want to pay attention to um, are these values here can contain the amount of buffers and cached being used by the buffer cache the kernel buffer cache so this is not necessarily an accurate representation of how much memory you would say is used kernel would say it's used but this used memory includes the buffer cache so if I do free H this is telling me I'm using 704 megabytes when in reality right now um, because of what's being allocated to the buffer cache uh, which is 180 megabytes plus 256 megabytes. Um, you take those two values, you add them together, subtract them from 704, you get roughly 267 megabytes being used. Um, the, the remainder of this value, almost uh, 400, well, over 400 uh, megabytes is being allocated to buffer cache free. Shows me I have 1.7 gigabytes free, whereas above it shows me 1.2. So be aware when reading this of the buffer cache issue, explained in full detail on the website. Finally, you have the swap, which shows I have a 2 gigabyte swap partition, which 0 bytes is being used, so 1.9 gigabytes are, or two, almost 2 gigabytes is free. There we go. That's pretty pretty basic right there. There are a few options that you can pass to free. Uh, I already went through all of them. Um, oh, before I go and show you some of the options, let me show you uh, another example of of allocation here. This is on my server, and I'm going to show you in free megabytes. This is a server. This is showing a reporting of 1,388 megabytes being used. Um, but as you can see, of that, the majority of it over here, almost a gig of that, actually over a gig of that, is being utilized by the buffer cache when in reality a total of 289 is actually being utilized by applications on the system that is currently running so 
just wanted you to be aware of that. Also, if you notice, I, I like to use the human readable format. It's not available on this version of free. So the human readable format may or may not be available to you, so you have to specify uh, the format that you actually want. So if I do free, just by default, you notice that it defaults to kilobytes. So be aware of that. The human readable format may not be available to you. Um, if you do free dash L, that shows you the low high memory statistics right there. Um, so you can see how it says total of the, the the high used right there. It doesn't take and does that for the the buffer cache or for the swap. So the dash L option is there. If you do free dash O, it just shows you the original format. It's not giving you a separate line for the buffers and cache. You have to figure that out yourself looking over here. Um, one of the more handy things, uh, well, before I get to the more handy thing, if you do free dash T for total, it shows you the total amount of memory and swap being consumed uh, and it does not take into account the value on the buffer cache line so let, let's do another one here uh, if I pass to it the free the seconds option and specify three it will show me the output of free every three seconds until I kill it with control C. Uh, another handy way of controlling that is to pass the count option. So I can say, okay, show me the output of free every three seconds for five iterations. Now you'll notice here we got the first, the second, the third, the fourth should be coming up now. Oh, I'm sorry, in the fifth. I was a little, a little lax on that. So show me one, two, three, four, five separate iterations on there. Uh, I think that's pretty much it to cover the free. Uh, so you got the count command. Um, very good way to keep an eye on how much memory you have and how much is being consumed by processes. A, sta a handy tool. Uh, you can get some more of this information by looking at cat CPU info, uh, not CPU. Mem info right there will give you some of this information, but free is an easier way to look at it and get a handle on what, what's going on in your system. I thank you very much for listening and watching. Please head over to the website to read the full write-up of this, and we'll see you in two weeks.